if I could look back on my life and recognize the one constant that's always been there that I've done during my best days, my worst days, my lazy days, etc., 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 it's been fitness. It's been fitness and focusing on my body. Story time. So when I first stepped into the weight room, I was 14. And I was gonna be a big time football player. I had this vision of going to college, running out of the tunnel with thousands of people surrounding me with my teammates side by side in a super clean uniform. Like I had this vision that I was just gonna be out running around, catching passes, scoring touchdowns. But there was only one problem. I was a stick. I was this skinny, undersized, freckle-faced kid who had no football experience, but I just know that I wanted to accomplish something. And I knew for a fact that if I was gonna make that happen, I was gonna have to make some sacrifices and I was really just gonna have to put in some work. And some of the guys in there would call me freckle-faced or chicken legs for obvious reasons. And because of that, I felt like I had something to prove. And it led me to setting my all-time best 650 pound barbell squat. And what first started as just a way for me to get on the field ended up being one of my greatest teachings ever. Focusing on my body and my strength has taught me resilience, discipline, commitment. It's been a stress reliever and it's taught me to be goal oriented. It's literally the backbone of my life because everything that I learn about myself through what I put my body through carries over into my daily life outside of fitness. It's helped me to love myself even more it's taught me to be a better parent, a better friend, a better lover. Taking care of my health and my fitness has literally given me the ability to live my life on my terms. I hope this was helpful. I hope that there was something you were able to take from it. If it was valuable to you, if you would share the video, I would really appreciate it. I wanna get this message out there to everybody that needs to hear this one point and that needs to hear that their health is numero uno.